Brian DeLuca, and I am here with the news. Brian at the Wolf Speed at the Tech Five. And news, can you tell us what is new at Wolf Speed? Yeah, of course, Brian. So what we're demonstrating here is our Generation Four silicon carbide MOSFET, um, and this is really a breakthrough in technology for what we like to call real-world use cases. Okay. Um, so essentially, what we've done with Generation Four is solved a lot of the the challenges that designers face when they design with any semiconductor material. Uh, so firstly, uh, this material is extremely efficient. So we've achieved a 21% reduction in RSP, uh, which, conducts, which relates to conduction losses directly. There's also a 15% reduction uh, in switching losses, uh, which directly, again, you know, comes down to your bottom line on, on how efficient your system can be. Uh, another big feature here, and I'm going to show this on the on the on the oscilloscope in a bit, is uh, one of the challenges that designers have is they love to switch fast uh, because it helps them shrink the system, but they run into a lot of ringing, which is oscillations on the um, on the system, and that means they have to scale back a little because they have high transient voltages, they have EMI issues. Um, so what we've done with, with Generation 4 actually is quite remarkable. What you've got on the screen right here is uh, the, the yellow line here, uh -huh. the yellow trace, is the, the Wolf Speed Generation 4 device. Okay. Um, the other two are some of our competitors, okay. uh, and we've taken their latest generations just to benchmark. Uh, and what you can see with, uh, with the yellow trace is that it is remarkably quick in settling down and getting to the final voltage versus the others that take a little bit of time to, to settle down. You see that in the current waveforms, you see that in the gate drive waveforms. Um, so essentially what, what we're saying with this statement is you're not in danger of having high transient voltages or high EMI by switching fast with, with the Gen 4 device. So you, know, you can switch fearlessly uh, and go faster um, if you need to. Uh, the other you know, place that we expect customers to use this is if they have an existing system uh, with silicon carbide in it, all they have to do is pop the Gen 4 device in, right. and we're expecting about a 40, 30% a 30 uh, improvement in how much power they can get out of an existing system. So what, uh, what applications do you is this mainly used for? Um, so, you know, the, the mainstay really for, for, uh, for silicon carbide, you know, on the automotive side, obviously, is the powertrain uh, and all of the charging blocks to, to charge it. Uh, on the industrial side, we see off-board charging, we see data centers, uh, you know, all the demand for AI is driving a lot of power there. Uh, we see energy, energy storage, uh, and then interestingly, there's things like motor drive, there's things like test and measurement that are also starting to use uh, uh, use silicon carbide and, and they'll benefit greatly from, from generation four. So what, what's, what's one thing the engineers need to think about when they design this to a system? The, the one, you know, the thing that, that engineers would, will think about obviously is, uh, you know, as engineers they always want to improve the next design. So I know very few engineers that just want to keep doing the same thing. Um, so what, what we like to invite them to do is, is push the limits. Uh, use the material for all it's capable for. Um, and, uh, and you know, we have plenty of reference designs, including, you know, something like this that we can help customers design better systems with. Well, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Of course. Thanks.